Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Upsampled versus true resolution, and assumedly we're talking about video. We're talking about video, but we're also talking about images. Hmm. So, have you ever looked at buying a camera and it's told you that it had a interpolated number of megapixels? Yeah, like it's like, and then you see it, and it's like watered down, it's cruddy. Right. So, that's the same with any of the scaling technologies. Now, I use the generic true resolution, but native resolution might also be an example. You know, you've, the terminology changes between the technologies, but you can watch standard definition television on your HD TV. Yeah, it's upsampled. It's upsampled. And what does that mean? It means that it was scaled or it was resized. But you only have so much data, so what you're really doing is lying to the viewer and hiding some of that stuff. So, so it's you're, like you're fudging it. Yeah, so, you know, if you just change the resolution, you get those jaggies around the edge. You, you remember jaggies from, like, early oh, yeah, video yeah, games yeah, 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 yeah. and things like that? Well, as the jaggies went away, instead you're replacing that with basically blur. You right. Know, you're, you're saying... This edge should be 50% white and 50% black right. because the jaggies on those it, work out. I see that on the, the plasma. It's like if I get up close on a, I know a lower mm. quality image, it it looks okay. It's just muddy, like a yep. the watered down. Yeah. So when you have a something that is interpolated, you're not using the real resolution. You're you're faking it. You're you're, you're lying and saying. This is the resolution that I'm going to present it at, but this is not the original resolution of, of the image. And that happens on cameras where you get the interpolated, and a good camera will interpolate by doing a shift or by taking the picture at different spots. The CCDs in the camera will say, here's a red CCD, here's a blue CCD, CCD here's a green CCD. And if you have each of those being one megapixel, you can lie and say it's a three megapixel camera because you've got three slightly different positions for each of those images. So you can say this image, the brightness is about this, and this image, the brightness is about this, and the brightness in this other one is this. So now we can average those things for each of the hmm. things and you can get something that works fairly well. So that's just a small amount of fudge factor. Other cameras that use all of the same colors across one CCD, you just scale and you say, ta-da, close enough. Is that, um, that better, worse? It, it's just different, but you never know what's really going on. When you play an Xbox game, for example, you may have said... Or PS3. Or, or PS3 or any of the, the game technologies. Or even your Comcast. You may be watching the thing at 1080p the device may say that it's 1080p but, but it doesn't it, look like it but in order to get to a frame rate that it wanted or the compression level in order to push the signal down the wire to you via you know whatever Correct. hulu yeah. or whatever they've scaled the image and so you may be playing a game that says that it's 1080p and it's really running at you know 9 si 960 by 720 right. and being scaled to 19 by 20 and 20 by 1080 uh, that happens a lot with your Comcast and DirecTV and those types of so things. So I'm not really getting an HD signal? You're not really getting an HD... Or a, a true HD so, signal. So they will say... How can they get away with that? Well, they'll say that it's 1080p. And it but may be 1080... On 10, your television. 1080 lines tall. Right. But it may be encoded at 960 by 1080 in order to, to get to you. That doesn't even sound right. I mean, it sounds right, but mm -hmm. it just doesn't sound right. It, it It's not entirely fair. But it, the same thing, you could say, have you ever encoded a video and you set it to a resolution that was higher than it should oh, have yeah. been for the bit rate, right. and, it, and it's all chunky? Yeah. It may be 1080p, but it looked way better at 480p right, because, right. because of that. And so, yeah, I mean, you, you have to balance these things. And so... The resolution is rarely the thing that you care about. You care about how many pixels do you have in the camera to take the image with? How many pixels were rendered by the video game before it got scaled up to you? Or video recorder. Right. 
how many bits were in the stream of the video that was pushed to you via Comcast. So you can say, you know, a six megapixel, a six megapixel image at 4K is not going to look as good. <laughs> That's not very big. No. As a, you know, th two megapixel image at one megabyte. You know, it's... Right. It's about why compression it's a, as well. It's like the megapixel myth that they talk about. I mean, maybe 47 megapixels or whatever they're bragging about, but in fact, it's just a an upsampled image that would have looked better at a or, or it would have looked at it would have looked like it was at a true resolution at a lower resolution. Yes. <laughs> Try to get it, but that, there's really no way of telling. Is I mean, is there? I mean, you could you could look at a product for what it is, say a, a digital camera, and it says it records images or video at this, but how do you really effectively know its its range and, and its uh, limitations? On cameras, they usually have to say interpolated. There are some rules about when they do and don't. Okay, and that's so that's generally not a bad word, but it's not an optimum word. Right. You want to know the native resolution of a camera when you're buying a camera. Okay. Um, what gets really weird is you have a camcorder that also shoots stills, and it will say on it, 8 megapixels. And it's probably capable of shooting 8 megapixels, but for the stills, not for the video. And so knowing what the resolution of the video is may be very hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, so... And then if you're you know, recording with your phone, you can have a great CCD on the phone. Mm -hmm. But if you are limited to recording with a crappy MPEG encoder, right. it may look horrible. <laughs> right. That's happened. 